Okay, so I'm just gonna start by clipping my hair back because, you know, you don't wanna get the makeup all over your edges, if you know what I'm saying. Like, you want it to come all the way back to the point where, like, your wig is coming off, if you know what I'm saying. Just, like, get it off. So this is the new LA Girl Foundation. Actually, it's a concealer but I use it as a foundation because I just feel like, I don't know if you guys can see that, see? Okay, good. Now I know that this does not look like my color, see? Like on camera I know like it looks a little light, but like on my face it's a different story. Like this is definitely my color. Like I know on camera it doesn't look that way, but it is, I don't know, I think I need to get a new camera. This is definitely just my color I'm telling you guys right now. This is this is my color. I just just letting you know. I think I'm gonna have to disable the comments today because like I don't want people telling me I don't know what I'm doing. Because I know what I'm doing, okay? This is my color. I don't know if you guys can see how the foundation spreads. Like it spreads really well up to the camera. You guys can see. Yeah. Oh my god this foundation is life. Now I am going to color correct the dark areas around my mouth that nobody else sees, but I am like the only one who tends to see that. The mouth area. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. I have um, dark areas around my mouth. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this is, this is good. This is good for people like me. So now like around my mouth is corrected. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna be working on my brows. I'm going to be using this really bright concealer to highlight my brows and also shape them because I feel like the white the concealer, the better. You know, you just wanna get that halo brow effect. Halo brow. And you see just like how I'm going underneath the brow bone like this. You want it to have, be really sharp. I'm just like this concealer or whatever is like really close to my skin tone. I barely really have to um, go over it with like foundation or something like that. This is this is good. This is this is good. I would definitely recommend anybody to buy this. That again, yeah. Now I'm going to highlight my face this is like my favorite part like you can never have too much highlight Look at that photo this is life right now like you cannot have enough highlight even if it's three shades lighter than your face it's good to highlight it's good to highlight because it makes sense to have highlight to be shiny to have shiny cheeks that makes so much sense to be as shiny as ever and I'm gonna also highlight my cupid's bow because that also makes sense too. doesn't make sense not to highlight the cupid's bow it's great to walk around with shininess underneath your nose like you just blew it <laughs> not amazing and then I'm gonna also highlight my nose you know this, this is a different step you know and also you want to highlight under well I didn't finish my press yet you also want to highlight the chin area and you want to do all of this before, you know, your contour and whatever. Like you can never have enough highlight. Now look at that. Do you guys see that glow? It's as high as the sky. So next, I'm going to do a winged liner. Now, winged liner is not as hard as you guys think it is. Really, really easy. You're just going to bring it out like this. Ooh, look at that cat eye though. Cat eye, honey. Cat eye is life. And you just want to bring it out as far as possible. You want it to like reach the end of the brow, like right here. Oh my god, I don't know if you guys can hear that. My cat is like making noises in the background. Don't mind him. He's like really hungry. I forgot to feed him. This this liner. Oh my god. This is a Marc Jacobs liner. This is the best liner that I've ever used. Oh my god. Siri, shut up. This is my cat. My cat, I'm so lonely, guys. It's just me and my cat in my apartment. And he keeps purring because he's hungry. 
Do you guys like that? <laughs> I'm just talking to the camera, asking you guys if you like it. Listen, you can, if you're here with me. I'm going to do my lips really quickly. It's really important to overdraw your lips because you want them to look as big as possible. Just like that. That's so bomb. Oh my god. I'm going to use a liquid lipstick from Milani. See that? Now it dries out my lips. I'm just going to put that all over. I know this color looks really bright on camera, but it's really not. Like this is my color y'all go over it with that lip liner again because that's really important you want people to think that you had injections even though I, ha I haven't had any I know that's what you guys say about me in the comments that I had injections even though last year my lips were 10 times smaller and my lips are 10 times bigger this year but I haven't had any lip injections Ew. I'm ready for my selfie. Mmm. Fresh. Now that the look is done, I'm just going to <laughs> unclip my hair, you know, because uh, that's what you do when you're done with a tutorial. You know? Unclip. Unclip, unwind. Ugh. Goodness, these clips were so tight, I'm telling you. So the last thing that I'm going to do is lay down my edges with some Hicks Edge Control. See, you know, that's what us black girls do. Gotta lay down the baby hairs. Lay down the baby hairs. I don't know if you guys can see my edges currently being laid for the gods. Laid for the gods. The edges gods are so proud of me today. You want to lay them to the point where like they're touching the brow. <laughs> Make sure they're touching the brow. Even if the hair is 10 inches long, like you want to lay that down too. Like you see this big piece of hair? That should be laid too. Okay, because it makes sense. These are my baby hairs. I know they're really long, but these are my baby hairs. And now that is the completed look. And I am ready for treat night. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching my video today. I hope that you guys learned something about makeup and cosmetics, um, being the beauty guru that I am. Um, and I hope to see you in my next tutorial.